Okay, so you guys have been asking me to do a gaming video or comparison of the Oppo Find N versus the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So here's both. Now let's jump in. Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my gaming video and battle vid of the Oppo Find N and the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, the Find N is the latest entry into the foldable market and also a late entry in 2021 because it's pretty much the end of the year. But this is one that has stirred up a lot of just interest and fascination. Now, this is Oppo's first foldable device and it comes in with a striking 5.46 inch cover display. But that really makes everything stand out compared to what you have with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 because it's a much wider display as opposed to that 25 by nine aspect ratio with the Z Fold 3. So what does that mean for gaming? Well, the very first thing is that, look, if you're gonna be using the cover display because it's wider, it's more usable for day-to-day -day tasks and also it feels more comfortable when gaming. So you're playing games on that cover display on the upper fine end, it feels much better than the Galaxy Z Fold 3, which is still good, just very wide, almost like cinematic wide, if you will. Now, what other aspects do we have in this device? Now, this comes with the Snapdragon AAA processor, just like the Z Fold 3. Uh, but when you open up the Oppo Find N, you do have a 7.1 inch display internally. And that display has more of a square shape as opposed to the rectangular shape on the Z Fold 3. Now, this also has a hole punch on the top left-hand corner. Uh, compared to that internal camera that you have uh, that's under display on the Z Fold 3, I can tell, easily tell you that the hole punch is definitely much better. Uh, now, both displays are 120 hertz uh, LTPO displays, so you've got that same fast adaptive refresh rate on both, uh, on both devices. Uh, but I will say though, I do like the Z Fold 3's larger display at 7.6 inches, especially when you are using it for multiple viewing tasks. But we'll get to that in a second. Now, devices also have some really interesting cameras. Samsung went with the triple, eight, triple uh, 12 megapixel camera setup, while Oppo has a 50 megapixel shooter. I'm just gonna show you images so you guys can take a look and decide for yourself. Okay, so images are out and that's very interesting, but we care about games and gaming on this device. Now, as I mentioned, Snapdragon 888, we also have eight gigs of RAM on the Oppo as well as 12 on the Galaxy. So how do our games actually fare? Just performance first. So we start off, of course, with Call of Duty uh, Mobile and we're playing that on the, on the uh, main display. It ran really smooth, really well on the Oppo Find end and we got uh, roughly around 60 frames per second, no drops, it was fine, which is matching from the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 3 has also 60 frames per second. So really solid performance in Call of Duty Mobile, which is to be expected. As we move over to PUBG Mobile, we also saw a really good smooth gameplay experience from the Oppo Find N. And with both devices, we played games at both uh, Smooth Extreme and Ultra HD Ultra. Smooth Extreme on both the Oppo and the Galaxy Z Fold 3, we got uh, 40 frames per second, both of them were locked steady at those frame rates, uh, which is good to see. 
at Ultra HD Ultra, we got some really uh, solid gameplay and we got frame rates locked at 40 frames per second for both the Oppo Find N and the Galaxy Z Fold 3, which is expected. Now, moving over to Genshin Impact, which a lot of you are looking at and saying, what about that? Genshin, we played Genshin in around 34 minutes, uh, roughly for both devices in terms of time. And we played out of max settings of 60 FPS extreme uh, settings. With Genshin Impact on the upper final, we were able to get 55 frames per second in 34 minutes, while we also were able to get 55 frames per second in about 33 minutes on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So performance wise, they both do really well. But playing that alone, what about temperatures? What about heat? That kind of stuff. On the upper fine end though, we found that the device actually ran really warm on the screen itself on the main display uh, around the top right hand corner, getting up to about 113 degrees Fahrenheit, while the Galaxy uh, Z Fold 3 went up to about 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and of course that heat was more located towards the back of the device. So in performance wise, both devices perform very similar in terms of gameplay with the games we like to check out. How about usability? How easy it is to use both devices to game? So I mentioned the cover display, that went to Oppo. When it comes to the internal display, I prefer the 7.6 inch of the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I think that wider real estate gives you more space to actually access the buttons you want, doesn't feel too cramped out, and also just allows the game to look much better and less crunched on screen. Now, comparatively with the Oppo, um, Find end. Yes, it does a good job in adapting the games to your screen real estate, but you can see things are still crunched in and it's a much more narrative field of view. Think of it like you watching Justice League Snyder Cut where you do have just that um, IMAX framework where it feels like you're losing some things on the side. So that's what it looks like. You're not losing anything. It just feels and looks that way when you're actually using uh, the uh, Oppo Find N to game. Now the Oppo Find N also has a game hub where you can see the GPU and CPU usage, FPS. You can also go in to improve your performance settings. So if you're a gamer, you want more performance from the chipset. This is pretty awesome. Now, in terms of the crease on this device, now we know very well that Oppo does a really good job of just hiding or taking away that visible crease compared to the Z Fold 3, which it is quite visible when you have a darker display. And also when you're running your fingers across it, you can feel that divot or dent, if you will, with the crease. That is something Oppo does well, and it's very useful, especially gaming. If you have to kind of just slide across that center of the display, you don't feel it, it doesn't actually hinder you, it doesn't stop you in any way. So I do like that from the Oppo Find N. Now, in terms of extras, we know that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 has the S Pen, and you can do a lot of things with that, which is nice and cool to see. But in terms of gaming though, I will say though that I do like the larger display of the Z Fold 3. I do like the comfort, and portability that you do have with the Oppo Find N. I think this is a phone where you are gonna be using more of that cover display than the internal display, which you'll be using for watching content and maybe, of course, definitely playing games. In terms of just uh, usability, it's great, and I think it's something that people will definitely love. Now, just to put it out there, this device is not available in the United States. It's only in China, uh, but I suspect it will be a global version uh, released later soon, and maybe even a version from OnePlus, because you know what, they're part of Oppo now. So we just have to wait and see what we get, but I do like the device, and I like the fact that they're pushing more, um, you know, uh, just more competition within the affordable market here. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. And if you think that the Oppo is just better in every way than the Galaxy Z Fold 3, leave those comments down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to check out my other videos on the channel right now and always enjoy your entertainment.